Hey, how's it going guys? JC here and today we have a match against Jace with Storm Raiders and oh, Teleport. Okay, so this is going to be really hard. Anyways, OP.GG runes and masteries will be on screen. Just letting you know this is a normal, but this Jace is actually Challenger. So actually really hurts. And the reason why I'm playing a normal is because ranked is down and I spent all night recording ranked. And because there's a Windows update, basically they it unset up my mic and I have so much footage where... I basically just spoke silently like I was just talking and there was no sounds coming out It's so sad like to see that when I went to edit all my footage is silent So all that there was recorded was game sound is really bad Anyways, we're going to I don't even know what to do against Jace just because we're playing a new champion I'm going for Q first just so that I could farm But yeah, we're going to try Irelia. I'm probably going to feed this game because I haven't played Irelia in probably like four or five years like Basically, last time I played Irelia was when I was in Silver, and that was basically the start of my league career, which actually would be a lot more than probably like five years or six years ago. So I'm really, really nervous, and I feel like I'm pretty screwed. But if we basically just farm, I don't know. I don't see a way of beating Jace unless I get a gank. I think I just lose to him straight up. Like, um, yeah. That's why I'm opting for Cloth Armor because after that I could potentially get a Corrupting Potion so that because I know that Irelia has really serious mana issues. So I might go for Corrupting into Tabbies into Triforce. Oh, what the heck? I didn't get that. Okay, I guess we can just do that. Good thing that Jace is not poking us. I think he will soon though. And if Jarvan can come... Oh my god. If Jarvan comes, then uh, I might go in. Might be able to, like, dash to a minion and then potentially I can, yeah, do something. Like, get a stun off. Finally, we get our W. I think we max W first. That's the way to go. Otherwise, we just pop W and then Q in. I think that's the way to go. But yeah, this is a normal game, but I am pretty nervous, so... Wow, he flashed. Okay, that works out. I wanted to dash to a minion and then just basically stun him, but I couldn't because the tower targeted a minion that was way too far away. And look at my mana, it's just so low after just one gank. It feels so bad. But yeah, Jace, no flash. I think he's very killable. I don't think I can kill him by myself. I'm just so not confident with Irelia. Whoa. But luckily we have cloth armor, so we take so little damage, which is really nice. Uh, I think there's a trick that you just prep the backline, but this isn't really the backline anymore since it's in melee range. Oh, what the heck? That one died and I jumped to the other one. Feels so bad. And I actually lose so much mana for making that mistake. Okay. Pop a potion. Hello, nice. Pie. Okay, so One of us yeah, is in I guess we could set up trouble. like that. I mean, it's not going to teach you guys much because I got a gank, but you know what? I don't think I really is that strong in lane. Just at least in my hands. Maybe in other people's hands it might be, but in my hands it's terrible. So I wouldn't have went in if I was by myself. And in fact, it might have turned pretty ugly. I would need to teleport and stuff. But yeah, maybe I should be looking for TP ganks. Because if that's my specialty or that's my win condition, then maybe I should be... I have no mana though. If I TP down there, I won't be doing anything. So I might as well push this in. But yeah, even though he's challenger, don't be discouraged guys. You might face challengers, but they might just be on off roll as well, just like what I'm doing. Like just off roll, you know. Have no idea what they're doing, but they are higher elo. So what are we going to do? Go back, and then we might be able to go for an aggressive build here. I mean, what part of Triforce? I think they normally build a Sheen first. And then I'll go Attack Speed, Dagger, and Boots. So I am going slightly more aggressive. I feel like Attack Speed is really good just because I really is true damage. It just scales so well with Attack Speed. You can just like keep chunking them down with true damage, which is what I really, really is good for or really strong at. Oh, that's a nice gank. Very beautiful bind by Lux though. Really nice. 
Okay, so we see that Nidalee is in our river, so we're going to have to be a little more cautious. Maybe put a ward here. Although he could just, she could just jump over here and just cuck me, so um, I guess like maybe she'll have to deal with Jarvan first. I'm going to stay back anyway and assume that she's going to jump over the pit. So I should have warded Tribush. If I queue into this, I might die. So I'm going to just auto it instead. Not that it made much of a difference because I can't E away. That's what really hurts is I can't E away and my Q doesn't heal me. Which is what I like about Trindamir. Sustain and gap close that has no prerequisite. Like if you notice Jax, right? He has to put a ward down to Q just to, you know, get away or to jump forwards. It has to be a target. But Trindamir doesn't need that. So that's the beauty. Ouch. I might be able to make a play. Actually, I don't have my W. Hmm. Could I actually kill him in one combo? I'm just thinking, like, maybe. I think if he uses a cooldown like EQ, I might go for it. So I'm gonna prep the back wave. This is what you do. Oh, we did it! Holy crap, we're a god. That one combo though. Clean combo. Okay, so what do we do now? Because I have no idea what to do on Irelia. You guys tell me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, we're just... We can freeze it. Uh, no, we can't. I'm just kidding. I, I kind of just derped and then unfroze it, so... My bad. Or maybe my ult unfroze it. But either way, we'll just push this in. And then not make any stupid plays. Okay, so Jace TP'd. I heard that sound. If you guys can hear the game sound, I, I just had the game sound on, so I heard it. But I didn't see the TP, so I know he TP'd. That's why I always have game sound on, guys. It helps so much. I hope you guys like this video, just because it's something new. It is a normal, but it's out of my control because rank's down right now. I'm staying up to 5am. I should have finished editing by now, but instead I'm playing a game. So hopefully you guys could appreciate that fact. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let me also... I also have, like, some news to tell you guys. Okay, I'm kind of short, so I didn't go for tabbies, but I'm really close to tabbies. I'm, I just went for a health crystal so that I can get my Triforce. Next item from... According to champion.gg, the best item, like, the highest win rate core build is to go for Triforce into a Bork. So, we're going to do that. I thought Titanic Hydra was the way to go, but apparently not. I mean, I'm just going off of what they recommend, so hopefully that is the way to go. Okay, and also max Q seconds, so I'm just looking at the guide. I have no clue what I'm doing, so please do forgive me if I make a monkey play and die later. But luckily this is normal. If this was ranked, I'd probably get stomped by this Jace, just so you guys know. There's a huge difference in... Uh, uh oh, wait, I should be paying attention. Uh, nope, nothing to do yet. Or at least I missed my opportunity if there was something to do. Okay, so Nidalee's down there. The only one that could come here is Jace. So only Jace can come from the river. So I'm pretty safe because I think I can 1v1 him. Damn. I wanted to stun him. That would have been so sick if I could have stunned him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on. Wait, why did I flash? Mm, I don't know why I flashed, but I think I was pretty dead. Hey, you know what? It's actually really hard to press spam R and then all walk at the same time. I actually need to get used to that because I feel like I need my mouse to not move. And then I need to press R, and then I it just stops me from orb walking, so it feels really awkward. Like, I could have dodged Nidalee's spear if I wasn't so focused on using my ult. So that's, uh... I don't know how to orb walk and aim that at the same time, because it's based off of your cursor. So that's something to note, I guess. And, uh... Rakan took way too long to kill. I thought I would have just queued into him, and he would have died right there. But he actually survived my WQ combo. So... That's the uh, first monkey play there. Feels bad. Uh, I need to not make any more big plays because I don't... I don't have the mechanics down, basically. 
maybe if I played a lot more, but it's actually a normal, so uh, all credit goes away for me getting a 3 kills, because also I got a gank, so it is, it is normal, and you can get really inflated scores in normals. It's not even funny. Whether you're against a challenger or not, it doesn't matter. In ranked, it's a different ballpark. If I was to take this to ranked, I'll probably be like 1 and 3, or maybe 0 and 3 right now. Just so you guys know, I'm being really realistic here. Okay, so I don't know where Nidalee is, but I do want a gank, if that's at all possible. Oh, okay, he has to walk through that. Oh, she flashed, or he flashed. Damn, I was going to Q, but he, he flashed, and he, he knocked me away and flashed, so... Rip. I mean, maybe. Maybe I could still get him. I'm going to prep this minion, this sneaky. <laughs> okay, nope. Uh, oh, yeah, Nidalee could be here. I could be inting right now. Oh, man. I want to kill him so bad. But then I have more health than him, so I'm not going to stun him if I go on him. Nice, we dodged that. Whoa, okay. Nidalee's here as well. His knockback actually saved me, I think. I don't know what I would have done if Nidalee got the spear landed on me and jumped on me. I probably would have e to stun her and then just walk away. I don't know. That's actually really weak because she can just catch me. Like, if that was to happen, I don't know what I would have done, because she can just run me down. Oh, okay. He already tp back. I think we get our Triforce, so that's a pretty big power spike. Look at that recoil animation, though. So elegant. Alright, you guys probably can't see it clearly, because it's in the bush. Okay, so... Triforce into Bork, and then what's after that? Highest percentage win rate core build is we get a Bork into a Guardian Angel. So that's what we're going to do. Oh yeah, so by the way, the announcement I'm trying to make is you guys, a lot of you guys mentioned that I should be, um, that you guys wanted to donate or something like that. And I've been way too lazy. I haven't been doing that because I truly just value you guys's just views and shares and as long as you guys genuinely enjoy the video and keep watching then I can make a career out of YouTube so that's what really you know makes me happy and that's why I keep making videos is really just so that you guys can enjoy it and then I can make a career out of it and a really happy career too at that so if you guys do want to donate I did set it up finally so it is a PayPal uh, it's a link in the description so you guys will probably see it if you guys want to that's nice, but if you don't, then as long as you guys watch my videos, I'm more than happy. That's probably the biggest donation you can give me, is to always watch my videos and, you know, share it with your friends and all of that. Okay, wait. I need to start paying attention. Um, where's Nidalee? Can I kill this Jace? I don't know. I mean, I am 3-1. and one. I have better CS than him. So we have our lane mechanics, like, in terms of lane management kind of esque-ish thing. We kind of have it down, <laughs> but it is a normal, so then again, it doesn't really count. Oh, nice! Who would have thought that Lux beats Zed? Wow. Wait, Bunivia, isn't that guy challenger as well? No wonder he's winning. But then, their challenger is not doing so well because we're top lane main, so at least we have that going for us. We're not going to feed because we are top lane main. Oh, actually, in before I feed, though. So let's let's not say anything yet. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, no! Stay alive! I'm coming. Hey, can we? Oh, oh. No, I wanted that kill. I flashed for it, too. Damn. If she could just bind him and then leave it alone, <laughs> that would be so nice. Hmm, okay, very nice. Man, our wave clear is so slow though. Actually, wait, it could be fast if we do this. 
But you know what? It costs so much mana. Nice, we got all of it. So, ooh. Alright, our team's doing work. At least, uh, Bunivia's doing work. Bunivia sounds like Anivia. I guess he's a Anivia one-trick all the way to Challenger. And Anivia is just the best, to be honest. What the heck? Wait, what? Anivia is just so OP. If you guys don't know what to play in mid lane, play Anivia and get really good at her. Uh, huge learning curve, really hard to play champion, but very rewarding. Like, probably the best le mid laner I have ever seen. If I have Anivia on my team and that Anivia is like a one trick and really good, then I, I feel like I just win every game. Like, from experience, I lose every game if I am with a Yasuo one trick or a Yasuo in general, but I win almost every game with Anivia on my team. So. That's just statistics for you guys, right? Like, living proof, well, from my personal experience anyway. Wait, can we? Okay, sure. I can flank. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no, it's so early. Wait, he went in so early. Oh, jeez. Nice. I can't even press anything. Oh, there we go. I was just mashing my R and then I just zoned out. That's basically Irelia's gameplay in a nutshell, guys. You just spam R and zone out and not know what anything else that's happening. <laughs> uh, we just lost top tower. I don't think I'll make it in time, so I'm just going to keep pushing. Okay. Uh, we're working our way towards a Borg. What? I think mid lane just alone just carries the game. You know what, if you... Basically in this game, as long as I didn't feed, and mid lane wins this hard, it's a, it's a win. If you guys could play Anivia and just farm well, or even get a kill or two, you guys just get free challenges. Seriously, Anivia is that good. Like, the one and only champion I feel in the game that if has a really big skill cap, but if you learn her well, then uh, you just <laughs> you just completely dominate solo queue ladder. Like, I'm so scared of Anivia and so happy if she's on my team. For Yasuo, it's the opposite. If I see Yasuo on the enemy team, I'm like, yes. Especially Yasuo mid on enemy team, I'm like, this is a free win. But if it's on my team, then uh, we probably lost. <laughs> That's just honest truth there. Also, we wave clear so slowly, I don't like this. Like, I don't want to use ult to wave clear, that just feels so bad. Imagine Trindamir having to ult just to do something that he could just auto and then Q smack. And have the whole wave go down. But instead you have to ult. Also we have mana restraints, so that's why I don't really like playing Irelia. Just because she has so many requirements. And also doesn't scale that well into late game. Struggles in laning phase, so it just has so many problems. I guess that's why she's not meta. So she kind of needs buffs. Oh god, oh god. Holy shit, we did so much damage. I don't do requests. <laughs> I mean, wait. Oh, the last time I said holy, you know, that word, apparently it offended someone. So I, I, I do apologize. I'm sorry. It's just automatic. So I try not to swear, but I think those ones are okay. Like there's certain swear words that are considered swear words, but they're for the most part okay. Oh, get me out of here. Oh, we almost got her. What? Wait, I, I just needed to throw in one more auto. Wow, we did so much damage. What? I guess we're 6 and 1. <laughs> but I don't know... Uh, and if, wait, I don't know Irelia's power spikes too well. So, apparently, if I played that better, I could have killed Nidalee. Like, if I just autoed one more time and then queued, she would have died. I was so nervous I was going to feed this game, so I'm so glad that I actually did well. And then I, I might be able to make some sort of clickbait thumbnail title like Unkillable, Unstoppable, OP Irelia or something. Should I do that guys? What would you guys think? <laughs> no, I shouldn't clickbait, I shouldn't clickbait. The next thing you know, I actually have that as a title. Okay, so right now we're going to go Bork into a GA. What the heck? That's such a bad item to buy with <laughs> cloth armor at 900 gold, that feels bad. How's this happening? That Zed's 1 and 9? What? Normals these days. But you guys know that it doesn't really matter if 
the enemies are challenger. See this? Jason's challenger, but it doesn't really matter, right? It's really just up to if they play their main role, then it matters. And also, you know, if they play well that game too. Because most people like to chill out in normals. Wait, is she gonna face check? Oh, rip. Oh, the knock up. Oh, what? He jumps so far. Uh oh, I'm scared. I'm scared, mommy. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, there we go. I knew I had enough damage for that one. But damn, I played so scared when I should be... Uh, okay, let's go and kill Jace. JC? Jace, not JC. You guys like to make that joke. Feels bad. So technically, I'm facing myself and playing as Waifu. <laughs> if you guys like that cringy joke. Wait, 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 wait. I think I can do this. Testing my limits. Never mind, he actually backed off. But I'll just push this out. Some decent life steal, though. Every time, by the way, every time we use our Q, it procs the W. And also, it procs the healing and the true damage. That's why you should always pop W first, and then you pop your Q. That's what I know about Irelia. Oh, wait, yeah, move away from the feathers. She's not going to chase. Okay, there's someone else coming. Rakan. Alright, so... If we go back, we still can't really buy anything other than a BF sword. My split push is so limiting. I feel like I push so slowly. Like, I really might just be better in team fights. To be honest, so it doesn't really fit my playstyle right now. My playstyle is more like split pushing. But if we team fight, since I'm so fed, I can probably destroy someone really fast. And then I have no escapes. So there's a lot of limits I feel playing Irelia. Wait, what's my alt cooldown? One minute. Okay, let's do this. That does not feel good. <laughs> but it was a way of clear that. Trindamu can easily do. Oh, is she gonna jump over? Please do. Oh no. I use my ult too. Oh, I have to back away or else I'll get stunned. I need to be patient. Oh, not like this. Oh, rip. I overchased there. Ah, uh, that's my second boosted play. Oh no. No. That's a big shutdown. That might be Baron. That might be Baron. Oops. The throws in normals. I don't mind though, but kinda sucks. Okay, so we get GA. This time we're not going to die as quickly. According to this build, it says. It says we should get lethality after this. I thought we go full tank after this. So it's saying to go Dusk Blade in and Ghost Blade and Dusk Blade. What do you guys think? Let's let's do it. Let's try it out. Lethality Irelia for late game instead of the smart thing to do, which is to go tank. I guess GA is the only defensive item we need. No. Feels bad. What are they doing? What a fiesta. Okay. This is a free Baron. I just use my Q so that I can get that extra true damage from W. And once W fades, once my active from W fades, uh, oh, okay, I need to tank this. And yeah, also keep Triforce box up. Nice, I actually got the kill. On Baron, that is. Whoa, if that hit. Okay, that works. I should be using my Bork active after, but actually no, I shouldn't. 
because I will just be using my... I'll overlap with my E, so I'll use my E first, and then if they get away, I'll use my Borg after. And then after that, I can use my E again, so that's the way to go. That's what I'm figuring out right now. I want to split push. I feel like I, I should get blue buff and split push top, because blue is over there. Oh, what the heck? And Nidalee's down there, so... Uh, Nidalee is going to do that and maybe jungle is up because of that. Hopefully it's up because I really need blue. I really is so mana hungry. Yeah, just doing a jungle camp. 400 mana left. I have mana for one rotation. Uh oh. I wish I had my E right now. Or my Trindamir E. Oh no, it feels bad. I'm not gonna use my ult. Man, I wish I had my E, you know? The Trindamir E. I don't wanna just flash, like, straight up, but I think I had to there. Just the lack of mobility. Or maybe I could have Q to a creep. I think I could have Q to a creep there. My bad. I never thought it like that, actually. That, like, these prerequisites just kind of mess me up. So, yeah, first timing champions for, well, I'd say if, if I haven't played for like six years, I'd say that's this is a first time champ, so. But actually doing a lot better than I expected, so, thankfully, I thought I was going to straight up feed. But we, I don't think we're out of the woods yet just because we threw so hard. We gave so many shutdowns, and we shouldn't be giving shutdowns at all because we're so far ahead. So, I'd say because we gave the shutdowns, it's becoming a lot more even right now. In terms of, you know, each team's strengths. So hopefully we don't... Okay, I'm going to keep pushing top and then I'll just teleport when I'm needed. Okay, he's prioritizing Air Drake. Oh, yeah, I don't think Lux should be split pushing right now. They didn't get away. I need to TP. There's a lot of potential kills here. Please. Wow. The they lined up perfectly for me. The Could I actually catch that Zed? He's over here somewhere. Oh. Ah, I got slowed. Ah. Uh, Oh, we got him. Hey, hey, there we go. So good. That kind of feels awkward that I have to like Q click, but then at the same time, I want it to go on smart cast at the same time. It's really something I have to get used to. Like, Irelia's playstyle is so different. And I know one of you guys' comments is to showcase Irelia, so I thought that's a good idea, a good chance to do it in a normal. So yeah, do you guys like it when I play normals and play new champions? Oh my god. Because I could do more of these. I think these are more chill and they're actually kind of fun. Like... Oh my god. Oh! Damn, I didn't know she was gonna do that. I would've went in if she was... Well, if I knew. Hmm. No, it's not coming up soon, is it? Oh, it is. Yeah, mine. <laughs> okay, so what can we buy now? Bork? I mean, not Bork. Ghost Blade or Dusk Blade? I'm thinking... Oh my god, okay. I'm thinking Ghost Blade. For that move speed? Sounds good. And then after that, we go for Dusk Blade. By the way, guys, I, I think it's better to go for... To go for Randuins and all of that. Or like tank items. After, after the two damage items. So after Bork and Triforce. I don't know. But according to champion.gg, this is the highest win rate build. So we're going for highest win rate build. Believe it or not. <laughs> I guess it's highest win rate because this is snowball build. So we're kind of grouping for a team fight, which is really iffy because I'm not used to it. I'm more like a split pusher and... Oh, okay. I scared him into using his ghost play too, I guess.
Wow, I can't press my Q fast enough. Pretty awkward. Oh! Oh! Wow, wow, okay. So they just stood on a ward. Can we get another pick? Yeah, I need to back away. Wait. Oh, nice. We got her. How am I full health? What? Was it from my W? I thought I took so much damage at one point, and then suddenly I'm back to full health. That passive healing though. Oh, okay. I did not expect her to do that. Ah, oh, nice. We can kill it. Oh, hey, we're doing it. Doing well in normals. Feels good. Uh, oh. Talk to the hand. That, that face... Face roll right there. That was face roll. I just pressed every button I can except for ult. Oh no, I ordered a minion instead. Oh my god. Okay, let's just kill this tower. Uh, I don't know if we should end yet. I don't have any mana. I think I would have died if I. Okay, I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm so... Oh, help me. No. Oh, I feel like GA hasn't done much for me because when I die, uh, that's just pretty much the end. There's no point in the GA. Unless I go in first. I have to be like first in the team. Oh, what the heck? Hey, we might actually throw. We got aced. <laughs> uh... Feels bad. I, should I be smart casting Q? I feel like there's so many buttons to press, and if I was to Q left click, I feel like it's so slow, especially if I'm also pressing Alt at the same time. So I have to guide my mouse with using my... I have to guide my cursor with my Alt. Now I have to guide my Alt with my cursor, and then I also have to use my Q at the same time. I mean, it's very doable, it's just that it's kind of awkward, because it means that it leaves me no room to Orb Walk. And Orb Walk, for those of you who do not know, is when you auto attack someone and then you move auto move that way you can dodge spells in between and also be more efficient when you're walking and hitting them it's just what trindamirs do you know because they have nothing else to do so when they spin on someone they just orb walk but irelia has so much to press and also a mouse requirement with the ult that it's really hard to orb walk so maybe i'm supposed to press r and then click and then auto attack and then r click auto attack you know it's kind of uh awkward Oh, okay, I thought I could one-shot it from there, from that range. I wonder how much damage potential I have. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Oh. Lots of damage. Jesus. I killed him in a stun duration. That's insane. Oh my god. Wow, I'm a monster. Cool. Wait, I haven't even used my ult. This isn't even my final form. Oh, okay, it is my final form. I just died. Whoops. I, I was too slow on stunning middle. Uh, okay, so to recap, what was I saying? Uh, you guys asked me for the donation kind of button thing so uh, I have that it's not really a button it's just a link in the description hopefully it works uh, for those of you who might be wondering why there's an address and like name is because they force you to use your personal information and like display it to the whole world when you have that that PayPal page I thought that was really weird so I had to make another account with 
all the fake information. It's not really completely fake. It's just my address and my name is JC and then the address is just something random. So if you guys are curious about that, you can check that out in the description. And it's it's just like, it just says PayPal and then it will just have like a dollar sign that you can type in and yeah, basically donate. Um, that's only if you want to. It's completely optional. It's just for those that have been asking me for a long time. I finally got off my lazy ass and did it. So anyways, that is the game guys. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of these normal games where I first time champions in normals. And yeah, maybe write that down in the description which champion you'd like to see me. Preferably top lane though. I can't play ADCs at all. Like I'll, I'll straight up just play worse than you guys. I'll play like bronze if I play ADCs. So don't ask for ADCs. Maybe mid lane, maybe junglers. Probably not Lee Sin because that's pretty hard. Uh, anyways... That is the game, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the very end, and I'll see you all in the next video. Cheers.